Hello, good morning. Got a little Thrive haul for you. I feel like all I ever do is haul stuff, but like, that's just what we're doing right now. Shiro for my husband. I got two of these uh, muffin things. I don't know. I think you just add water and microwave it, and then it's just like a breakfast, but it's uh, keto friendly, so it's lower carb, which he appreciates. I got these, which these are always sold out on on there, so I assume that means it's because people like them. I don't really know, but it's just like a wrap, but it's made from coconut. Is it gonna taste like suntan lotion? I don't know. Right off, I got interrupted, but yeah, these are made from coconut. I'm gonna have them with like I don't know, turkey and vegetables and fake cheese and stuff in them. I got a roll on. Sorry, we're watching Frozen back there. A roll-on of Chill Pill. I've used this in a diffuser before, but I would like to just have this like in my bag so I could just like roll it on if I'm feeling a little, you know, panicky. So this baby, what do you have in you? Secret, okay. Lavender, peppermint, sweet basil, patchouli, and Roman chamomile. So I'm just hoping that this just like maybe relaxes me a little bit. I don't know. Also picked up a Waleda Skin Food Lip Balm. Now I love the original Waleda like, I don't know what it's called, but like the cream. It literally looks like this, it's just bigger. Um, but it's really rich. Ugh really really rich so if you are dry or if it's like a balm that you would put on your feet before you go to bed like she's rich um i will sometimes use that if i'm not wearing makeup which is most days but if i want to if I, we're going somewhere and i want to look a little i will put some like just on the high points of my face and just like really buff it in and that like gives you a really nice subtle highlight but it's like a skincare highlight instead of a makeup product so you don't really sweat it off but uh anyways uh yeah i got this to try i love lip balms and the lip balm that i really really love is the lip sill one if you've ever used it it's in like a yellowy oval shaped tube with a green top and it's minty and it's like i don't know is it swedish i'm not sure but i love it but when i kiss my baby it gives him zits or like little rashy bits so i'm not gonna quit kissing my baby so i had to give up my favorite lip balm but that's like the best one so i hold all other lip balms up to that standard and we'll see if if she can do it what else what else we got oh i know what this is this is like something weird kind of to me it's buffalo oh it's so wrapped it's a buffalo vinaigrette like dressing i guess to me it sounds like it would be good on like a a like if you're having a salad with chicken and like you know like a buffalo chicken salad but like the buffalo sauce is already in the salad dressing so she's runny and you just shake her up but this is from I guess just the Whole30 brand. I find uh, with the way I'm eating, most of the things that I eat are Whole30 compliant. So not everything, but it's really easy if you're like looking for sauces or like shopping, especially on Thrive. It's a lot easier for me to just click the Whole30 um, tab instead of trying to go through the gluten-free because so many of the gluten-free stuff has dairy in it. And if you go through the dairy stuff, so many of that has gluten in it. So if you go through Whole30, that's where the ticket is. And the last thing I got, not Whole30 compliant. However, sometimes I just need a treat. And I love Pop-Tarts. I have always loved Pop-Tarts. I feel like some people grow out of Pop-Tarts. I will never grow out of Pop-Tarts. I love frosted strawberry Pop-Tarts with sprinkles and I love brown sugar cinnamon Pop-Tarts. The best. So, I've talked about these little bobo things before. They're like small little oatmeal bite things that had jam in them. I found these. Oh no, they're open. I found these on Thrive. These are like, since it's already open, let's look at it. They're just little, 
interrupted again. They're just these. They're just little, basically pop tarts, and you can toast them, and they're just cute. What's in them? I don't know, but they're gluten free. They're not sugar free. They're gluten dairy free. That's all I know for sure. So these, will I be eating these a lot? No. And I think this pack of 12 was $30. So um, it'll take me a while to eat them for sure because this is just like, oh, and I wanted something a little spooky. Um, I don't know if I've said that phrase before, spooky treat. So to me, a snack is something savory. And a spooky tree is something sweet. And spooky snacks, not a thing. So where spooky tree came from is when I was very sorry, very excited. When I was in hair school, I started in October and we had a bake sale and somebody was like, ooh, so we can bring in all of our little spooky treats. <laughs> and um, I don't think that they called then that, I think they were just saying like Halloween themed cupcakes, Halloween themed brownies or what have you. But you know, it stuck with me. And now if it's a sweet treat, you're a spooky treat. So sometimes I just feel for a spooky treat. And Bubbles is going to do it for me because I already know I love those oat bites. And I think this is the same thing, just in a different form. It's like Taco Bell. It's all the same crap, just in different configurations. I suppose I could tell you guys what Thrive is if you don't know. It is an online marketplace that is like, they just cater to more specific dietary needs. And they have food, they have cleaning supplies, they have um, essential oils, they have supplements, you can buy CBD on there. There's just like a lot of things that you can get on there. So if you're considering, or if you already are on a gluten-free diet, a dairy-free diet, a paleo diet, um, Whole 30, like anything like that, um, Thrive might be worth it for you. I think it's $60 for the entire year, but you're also saving a lot. And for me, it was worth it because the closest place for us to go get stuff like that, that's not just Kroger, which our Kroger has a decent amount, but some stuff you just can't get there. So the closest place to get that is Whole Foods and Trader Joe's, and that's like an hour away for us. And whenever we can go on the weekends, it's like crazy nuts in there, so that's not great for my mental health. So it's it's worth it for the Thrive. I mean, don't get me wrong, we still will go to the big city every once in a while because there's places my husband likes to go and other places other than just the grocery store. but. Um, yeah, Thrive has been really helpful for that. Also, if I just think it's really good whether you're like beginning this journey or you're already on this journey, like uh, it's good. So I can leave a link down below if anybody's interested in Thrive Market and you'll get 25% uh, off your first order. I also believe there's a free month trial period. And if you're not, if you don't want to continue after the first month, if you don't think it's worth it or whatever, um, you can cancel. So there's like a risk-free thing plus 25% off. So I'll leave that link down below if anybody's interested. And uh, yeah, I, it's just been really helpful for me because I can go on there, click Whole30 and know that I can eat every single thing on that, on that tab, which is, it's a beautiful thing. Good morning. It's the next day. I, uh, I've been awoken by a symphony of screeches, so let us see what, what that Good is. morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's a plane. Hey, how come you were screaming? You don't know? So... Two days ago, we had a, <laughs> we had an incident. No, 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 You don't want me to tell the story? You want to do it? No, 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 no. Okay, Hudson has left the chat. Um, two days ago, we had a, a nap time incident. That involved a tube of 
It's called Everywhere Balm, I think, from Hello Bello. Hey, hey. What? But effectively, it's Vaseline. It's plant-based Vaseline. So it's Vaseline uh, not made from petroleum. What's that? Hudson and his go-go gadget arm somehow, no, reached it, the tube, from his crib. Yes, he's still in a crib. We've yeah, seen yeah, this. And squeezed it out all over him all over the floor all over the bed i mean it was in his hair it was like he rolled around in a bucket of kentucky fried chicken buddy he was greasy everything was greasy and i didn't freak out i said what the heck and we got out of bed we took a bath i washed his hair which he hates a lot so, I mean, if anything, this can, um, this can speak to my mood and how, how much more stable I've been because I would have, I mean, I would have freaked out a month ago about this. Like, oh my God, like so overwhelmed. I wouldn't have known what to do. I would have probably sat down on the floor and cried and called my husband and been like, well, help me, <laughs> what do I do? But, you know, I'm feeling a lot better and now it's just got like the let's get shit done attitude. I thought I would show you guys what I'm wearing. Not that um, it matches at all, but um, the bottoms are uh, what I want to talk about. So, whenever I got um, those camo leggings from American Eagle, Airy, whatever. I got these cheetah ones. Uh, they're really high-waisted, which I love around here. They're, like, quite compression in this area. And then the legs are a little looser. So, uh, not loose, I would say. Um, and there's also pockets, which is an added bonus. I wouldn't say the legs are looser. The legs just aren't, like, compression fit. I feel like a lot of times if you have thick thighs, like, biker shorts will, like, cut you off real bad. But these don't do that. Um, but, yeah, I, I'm really happy with them. This is the first time wearing them. I'm wearing them with this shirt that I bleached tie-dyed. This was a steal, guys. I got this shirt. It's an Adidas shirt with an embroidered label on it at the Goodwill for, like, two bucks. Somebody, somebody just missed that this was a, a fancy brand and didn't put it on that. So I'm glad I got it for two instead of ten. But it's just like nice and long, oversized. So am I going to wear this outfit out for my earrings? Probably. So <laughs> if you catch me outside, don't worry about it. Okay, we out. Well, not really. We're in the but we about to be out and about. Um, for anybody that's like likes to wear hats but also like needs to have their fun by now this hat came from Hobby Lobby it's like $12 but like they always have a 40% off coupon so like go get you one they don't just have black they have like some other colors they also have some that like have these weird like crisscrosses in the back mine's just like an open like an opening so your bun could be anywhere, or your ponytail, I guess, anywhere from basically the top all the way down to where the normal hat hole is. <clears throat> but they have some other kinds. And just in general, Hobby Lobby, like, kind of has cute, like, hats. I've also gotten a purse from Hobby Lobby, which is, like, weird to think about. But also, like, it was, like, I think it ended up being, like, $11 or something with a coupon. So check out Hobby Lobby also like not feeling so cute flop on some hoops am I still wearing the cheetah shorts with my bleach shirt mm, yeah sure I am so I think we are gonna go to Aldi am I gonna show you the inside of Aldi probably not because I'm still scared of vlogging in public uh I also need to go pick up a supplement from my naturopathic doctor sure text message uh yeah you'll see what you'll see if you know you know if you're going to all these gotta 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 have a, a quarter in your car always sometimes i spin my all these quarter on accident and that's a tragedy
got my supplement wow look at my ears uh got my supplement it's really great because i just like call when i get here and i'm like hey i need this and then they just bring it out to my car and they take my card and then that's it and it's great and it's super easy um it takes some of the work out of living the way that i've chosen to live recently so that's really nice uh we went to the aldi it was a pretty successful shopping trip i can show you what i got when we got when we get home I don't think we're gonna go anywhere else because we have milk, uh, even though it's in like a, it's in a, the milk is in a cooler, but um, I still think we're gonna head home and uh, get some stuff done there. So I'll see you then. Grocery haul time. Banana. Butt nut. Spaghetti squash. These are a surprise for my dad. Mushroom egg spatzel and cheese egg spatzel. Milk. Almond milk. Pumpkin spice whipped cream. This is not for me. This is for my husband. Possibly a little into my son's mouth. We'll see. Strawberries. Honey goat cheese. White Stilton cheese with apricots. Brie. Clearly your girl was craving some cheese. So I think I'm just going to start incorporating a little bit more cow's milk dairy back into my diet. I don't see myself eating yogurt. So I think that's funny. I don't see myself drinking uh, cow's milk, but I also haven't drank cow's milk in a really long time. What else? I also don't see myself eating just like a slice of cow's milk cheese on a sandwich. Like I'm just fine with my, my vegetarian cheese or vegan cheese, whatever, and then just have like this kind of stuff as a snack. I feel like um, the foods I'm eating, I'm not satisfied by right now since I stopped eating avocados. Avocado is like a good source of healthy fat and it also helps just like satiate you. And <clears throat> since I'm not eating that because it was on my food intolerance list and I knew that it made me feel like crap, um, I just need some more fat and the easiest and most delicious way if you're asking me is to eat some cheese so that's what I'm gonna do and I haven't had lunch yet and I'm starving like a little shaky so um I'm going to make something for lunch it's probably gonna be like a turkey wrap with some vegan cheese and um maybe tomato and cucumber and then I'm gonna have some of this cheese with some um like chia seed crackers that I have so I'm gonna do that if we're being honest here and that's something that I like to be here those mission wraps I don't love them the texture of something is funny I mean that's like kind of the thing with all gluten-free things but I'm kind of trying to hold off on trying those coconut wraps because I'm afraid i afraid I'm really going to like those, but I might hate those too. But I'm trying to eat the mission ones and then I will have the coconut wraps. And if I like the coconut wraps better, then I'll just get those off the right. I think I'm going to wrap up this video here. Um, not a lot planned for the rest of the day. I have, um, I got an order on, on Etsy for a baby alien which is a baby Yoda, but coffee, copyright infringement. So, yep, I'm gonna make one of those. Hopefully get him done today, get him in the mail tomorrow. I just have like, just like honeydew stuff, cleaning, tidying, that kind of stuff, figuring out what the hell we're gonna have for dinner. But I think that's it. So I will talk to you guys the next time. Sorry, Bella's right here She's giving me the eye but uh i will see you guys in the next video bye bye